good to see you. Yes. We're so glad that you're here online tuning in. Definitely. I'm so excited for this next segment of our service. Mm -hmm. We are going to worship. So stand to your feet, get crazy, and shout yeah. the name of Jesus. See you. Let's go. All right, everybody. We're going to continue in worship. So everyone stand on up. Let's sing with you. You spoke a word and brought the world to Crossing Kids, everyone have a seat. What's up, Crossing Kids? It's time for our big idea. Repeat it with me on the count of three. One, two, three. Tell, Tell the, the truth. truth. Be, Be honest, honest in all you say and do. Whew. Ooh, it rhymes. I kind of feel like a DJ. Wicked, wicked, but we're going to do it again. Ready? One, two, three. Tell, Tell the, the truth. truth. Be, Be honest, honest in all you say and do. Wow. Mm. Mr. Ridge, what's up with this? So, tell the truth. Yeah. When your parents come to you, you need to tell the truth. That's true. Say they ask you if you took the trash out, and you tell them no. They already know you didn't take the trash out. Yeah, they do. So, it's kind of, if you tell the truth about everything, you won't be in, be in trouble. That's true. But, you know, Mr. Bryce, mm -hmm. God always knows when we're lying. He knows it. He knows everything, so he knows the truth just like our parents do when you say you take the trash out. Yeah. You know, so you can't lie, right? So we just gotta be honest. Yeah, we gotta always be honest and tell the truth. Sounds good. And everything we do and say. Boom. That's pretty simple, guys. So let's, let's say, say it again on oh the count gosh. of three. Ready? One, two, three. Tell, tell the, the truth. truth be, be honest, honest in all you say and do. Awesome job, guys. Go ahead and remain standing. We're gonna go back to worship. Praise God from whom the blessings flow. 
name is Dot, and this is what happens when you lie. I sincerely apologize. I mean, what can I say? I messed up big time. You said it. The past few months, I've been trying to prove to the good people of this town that I'm sorry for what I did, and working up the courage to come into Connect HQ. That's admirable. What? We can't trust anything he says. The last time he was here, he stole Luke's piggy bank and framed me for it. He's a liar. Dot. No, it's okay. I'm used to it. That's actually why I'm here. I can't seem to get a second chance. I need help repairing my reputation so I can get back to running my pet store. It would take a miracle. Agreed. Chuck, could you just give us a few minutes? Sure. You stay right here where we can see you at all times. I'll just give you some space. Dot, our job is to help anyone that comes in looking for help. I'm all for helping anyone, but can't you see why I would have a hard time ever trusting this guy? I've never known him to be honest. But we could help him. We could show Chuck how to be truthful in everything that he says. And does. Okay, I'll give it a shot. But I'm keeping a close eye on him. Vanessa, do you watch Sleeping Bag Ninjas? I have seen a few episodes. Good. What's it about? Okay. So, these kids find ancient sleeping bags and they turn into ninja warriors when they zip themselves up inside. Great. It's Mike's favorite new show. I promised him that I'd start watching it, but I kind of forgot. So, I'm just going to pretend that I've seen it. Mm, that's lying. No, sorry, you misunderstood me. I'm going to pretend that I've watched it. But you haven't watched it. No. And you're going to say you have. Until I've watched it. Right. Yeah, that's lying. No, it's just bending the truth until I can make it the truth, so I don't hurt his feelings. Rodney, lying doesn't just hurt Mike. It hurts you and your character. Always tell the truth. Be honest in all you say and do. Well, that's good advice. Tell the truth. Be honest in all you say and do. And I'm sure Mike will understand that you haven't seen his show. I hope so. Chuck, my partner and I are going to ask you some questions and we need some answers. What kind of honest things have you done lately? Yesterday, a lady left her purse and instead of keeping it like I wanted to, I caught up with her and gave it back. Nice work. See, Dot? He's trying. Small potatoes. What else? I, yeah, uh, I used to sell gerbils as exotic long-tailed hamsters. People didn't know the difference. Um, I don't do that anymore. Gerbils are sold as gerbils. Oh, I love gerbils. Gerbils aren't people. What honest things have you done for people? Whenever people ask me if I'm the same Chuck Forte that stole all that stuff from around town, I'm always honest. I never lie and tell them I'm someone else. That's gotta be tough. But it's pretty hard to hide the fact that you are Chuck Forte. Yeah. If I can't fix my name around town, then plan B is to start wearing a fake mustache. Instead of an honest mustache? You're right. I'll grow a real one. Dot, I think if people around town knew that you believed that Chuck was honest, they could forgive him too. You could help keep me accountable. And Dot, if you vouched for me, that would be huge for my reputation and for the pet shop. So, what do you think, Dot? Do you believe him? I don't think I can trust his answers. You want answers? I think I'm entitled to them. You want answers? I want you to tell the truth! I can handle the truth! Dot, we live in a town that needs pets. And those pets need to be cared for by men with leashes. Who's gonna do it? You? You, Alyssa? I have more responsibility than you can even fathom. You weep for Luke's piggy bank. You have the luxury. You have the luxury of not knowing what I know. That my reputation dying was, was sad and ruined my life. And that my past lying was gross and sinful. 
But you want me in that pet shop. You need me in that pet shop. We use words like honor, code, loyalty. Those are great words. I have all the time in the world and the motivation to explain to you a girl who rises and sleeps under the very blanket of honesty that I want. So instead of saying I'm sorry, I want to say thank you for showing me a good example. Either way, I hope you believe me. You're entitled to honesty. Wow. Hey, did you watch it? I was really busy this weekend. I had to help my mom reorganize her kitchen. So many dish towels. Yeah, but did you watch it? You promised me, and I really want to talk to somebody about sleeping bag ninjas. Yes, I did. And didn't you love it? Oh, I loved it every minute. Oh, when they're fighting in their sleeping bags, they transform in their sleeping bags. Did you actually watch it or? I, I did, I did, I did. And you know what the craziest part about this new season is? <laughs> when they started the band? When the ninjas started the band. <laughs> That's my favorite part too. So who was your favorite new character? Ooh. So hard to choose. There's so many people to choose did from. Did you actually watch it, or I did. you just? I did. I did. I, I, my favorite character was the, the girl with the ear. Eliza. Oh, she's my favorite too. I love how she does the controlling of the sea turtles. I was just about to say Eliza with the sea turtles. <laughs> Such a I'm good show. I'm so glad that you actually watched it. <laughs> Maybe you can help me, Vanessa. Didn't you guys make a skit about how much God hates liars? I think I know the one you're talking about, but you've got it wrong. God loves everyone. He hates lying. Whatever it is, I need to see it. I'm confused about what I should do right now since Chuck Forte returned asking for us to fix his reputation. Disgraced local businessman Chuck Forte? That's the one. I'm surprised he came back here. Let me see if I can find that video. I'm having a hard time moving past the hurt that was caused when he lied to me. Okay, I found the skit. Let's see if it helps. The early church shared everything. They were a brand new community of people who found each other because they believed and followed what Jesus taught when he was on the earth. The way they shared what they had made them stand out. They shared their food. They shared their time. There was even one guy who sold some of his land and gave every cent of the money he earned to the church. In the church, there were two people, a husband and a wife, Ananias and Sapphira. They saw this guy sell his land and said, we should do that too. Let's call this Ananias. Yeah. And Sapphira. Hey, let's do like that other guy and sell some of our land. But are we really gonna give all of the money to the church? Everybody shares everything. They don't need all of it. Hmm, you're right. Let's just give them some of the money and we'll keep the rest for ourselves. Ananias brought some of the money to the church, but he lied and said it was all of the money. Peter could tell he was lying. <gasps> Peter said, why are you lying to the Holy Spirit, Ananias? Has Satan filled your heart? You didn't have to sell your land, and you didn't have to give the money to the church, and you certainly didn't have to lie and say you gave all of it, but you did. Not only have you lied to the church, but you've lied to God. Upon hearing this, Ananias fell down and died. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait, what? That's how the story goes, he died. Does that mean if I tell a lie, I'm gonna die too, just like that? In the Bible story, Ananias died. In our story, lying might not kill our bodies, but it does weaken our reputation and it kills trust. When the people in the early church heard what happened to Ananias, they knew that lying was something God took seriously. Three hours later, Sapphira came in, but she didn't know what had happened to her husband. Peter gave her a chance to tell the truth. He said, 
Did you sell the land for the price your husband said? Yep, that's how much we sold it for. Why would you and your husband plan to lie against the Holy Spirit? We just buried him for the same thing. Then she died too, and they buried her with her husband. Everyone in the church heard this story, and they had a healthy respect for God. They knew that not only was God serious about lying, but also building trust. It's memory verse time. Are you ready, Miss Natalie? I am so ready. Awesome. I'm going to lead it, and you're going to follow Miss Natalie. Sounds good? Good. Awesome. Ready? Galatians 5.16. Galatians 5.16. Live by the Holy Spirit's power. Live by by the Holy Spirit's power. Then you will not do what your sinful nature wants you to do. Then you will not do what your sinful nature wants you to do. Power, do. <laughs> Let's do it again. Good job. Ready? Galatians 5.16. Galatians 5.16. Live by the Holy Spirit's power. Live by the Holy Spirit's power. Then you will not do what your sinful nature wants you to do. Then you will not do what your sinful nature wants you to do. Wants you to do. What is this? Doing sinful nature power? Natalie, explain. Alrighty. So a lot of times when something happens, a lot of times our first thought is to do something sinful. Like yeah. say you break something. Ooh. You immediately, you want to hide it. You want to clean up the mess so nobody finds out. You don't want to tell the truth. A lot of time that's our first reaction because of fear. Right. But when we live by the Holy Spirit's power, we live by the fruits of the Spirit, which is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, and self-control. Okay? So we need to live by God's Spirit, by those fruits, instead of what our sinful nature wants us to do. Absolutely right, Miss Natalie. You nailed that right on the Boom. head. So we're going to do it again. Ready? Galatians 5.16. Galatians 5.16. Live by the Holy Spirit's power. Live by the Holy Spirit's power. Then you will not do what your sinful nature wants you to do. Then you will not do what your sinful nature wants you to do. We did that. You Good did it. Job. Awesome job, Crossing, Crossing kids. kids. And let's go back to HQ. Woo. See you. God doesn't hate liars, he loves the truth, and he loves when people build community. Lying might not kill our bodies, but it does tear down trust. Lies tear down the trust our relationships need to survive. Yup, lying is dangerous. Chuck lost my respect when he lied to me. It's hard for me to trust him again. Well, God knows Chuck's heart, and I might not know the guy, but it does seem like he's trying. It can't have been easy to come back here to Connect HQ and ask for your help. He took a really big step just by being here and apologizing to your face. So he's trying to rebuild his trust in the community. Yep, and God loves that kind of thing. He loves giving second chances. Maybe I should too. Did you notice in season five, episode four, they said they never met the High King, but actually they met him in season Mike, two. Mike, Mike, Mike. I have to come clean. I haven't watched Sleeping Bag Ninjas. I didn't follow through on my promise to you. And you lied to me. I did. I didn't want to hurt your feelings though, but I have to stop this lie right here before it keeps growing. Yeah, because I was about to get into some heavy conspiracies about the lost campground. Vanessa gave me some good advice. Tell the truth. Be honest in all you say and do. That's a good point. And it doesn't feel good to be lied to, but I wouldn't have cared. I just wanted to share this experience with you. And now I spoiled all the good parts. And that actually is the part that hurts my feelings. I'm sorry, Mike. Well, I'm glad you were honest with me. And no lie, I really am excited about seeing this show. <laughs> It sounds awesome. It is. At one point, they fight a 4,000 pound frog, the two ton toad. Okay, okay, like no more spoilers, no more spoilers. Chuck, I'm sorry I wasn't giving you a second chance. And I can see that you're taking a big step forward to be trustworthy. I'll take my own step forward too. I forgive you and I believe you. Thanks, Dot. Every day I ask God to help me stick to the truth. I never did that before. It's new to me. You can count on us to spread the word around town that you're an honest man. I would sure appreciate the help. 
Oh, and Dot, when you finally get water in that fishbowl, come see me at the pet store. We'll pick out a perfect goldfish. Actually, I was wondering, do you have any piranhas? To be honest, no. But we'll see what we can find. <sighs> God hates lies, but he loves the truth. He can help you be honest. When we choose to be dishonest like Ananias and Sapphira, our character and our reputation die. Lying to our community and lying to God is something that he takes seriously. Instead of finding ways to lie about our actions, we should think about ways to build trust with the people around us so we don't lose their respect or our reputation. If you are known as someone who lies a lot, people won't trust you. But if you're in the middle of several little lies or one big one, you don't have to keep that lie going. You can stop, tell the truth, and keep your promises. That's better than telling a lie that grows and grows. God looks at the heart. He loves you and will help you. He knows if you're honest on the inside, even when no one else can tell. Take big steps to tell the truth. Be honest in all you say and do. Lying hurts you and others. Build trust instead. Ask your friends to help you be honest. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. Thank you.